Shalos, shalos, shalos. Welcome back, welcome back, people. It's the Critic Corp. I am Toke, and this is my review today on the movie um called Imaginary. Um, it was uh, it was it was a it was a little it was a it was a uh, it was a bit, bit much of a letdown. Um, I kind of you know, I went into this movie not really expecting nothing too spectacular but i thought it was gonna be a little bit a little bit more interesting than what it uh what it actually was you know i i'll give it like a good maybe five out of ten fucking fuck shit 4.5 out of ten um it was it was just a big let down by bloom house productions they they've been uh They've been slacking lately, man. I don't know what's what they do has been. Um, they you know they've been trying to kind of combine. Um, they you know they horror uh, films too much with it being kid friendly and just like you know a PG thirteen movie, a PG thirteen horror film, and it's it's just not delivering. It's um. It, this this movie was pretty much a uh, knockoff, or not even a knockoff, like it just off brand version of Insidious, minus um you know like the um demonic uh possession and whatnot. Um, it was just it was, it was mid. It was very mid, bro. It was just very mid. I I can't really um specify anymore on how mid it was it was it was it was yeah i was looking at my phone the movie was, was about an hour and like 45 minutes or whatever and i was looking at my phone like checking the time every like 30 minutes or so and i was just like uh this is um this is just it's terrible it was terrible bro like it was pretty much about this woman named Jessica who, um, you know, she had an imaginary friend when she was younger and, um, it, it was a big, uh, she was traumatized. She had a big, you know, a big traumatizing moment when she was experiencing, that she experienced when she was younger that involved her, um, father, uh, you know, trying to save her from uh, her, you know, her imaginary friend, her evil imaginary friend, and, you know, he ends up losing his mind, and having uh, to get, you know, admitted into a crazy, little crazy hospital and shit like that, and, you know, it's the years that went by, she's older, she doesn't even recall any of that shit that happened. She ends up moving back into the house with a new family of hers, you know, playing stepmom, um, and she has these, um, the, the husband has these two daughters, one's, uh, a, you know, a, a little kid named, by the name Allison, and the, um, the evil entity, entity, uh, that was, you know, channeled through her imaginary friend, ended up staying in that house that whole time and just waiting on her to come back, plotting on her, you know, plotting on her return to feed on her and latch back onto her and shit like that. And you end up using the little girl Allison pretty much to get to her, you pretty much uses her bait and um, you know, tries to trap Jessica, uh, in the dream world, um, where the fucking imaginary friend is, imaginary friend's name Chauncey, by the way, <laughs> um, it, it was, yeah, I don't know, it was alright, I mean, I kinda caught a certain, certain, on certain scenes, I kinda, like, knew, what was about to happen, shit like that, um, you know, the end of the story ends on a good note, kind of, well, every, everybody makes it out, you know, everybody makes it out, because they, 
they end up, you know, long story short, Allison ends up uh, getting snatched up by Chauncey and taken to the dream world. Then Jessica and the older daughter, Taylor, then this old um, weird uh, creepy babysitter or old lady that used to be a babysitter for Jessica um, live next door ends up uh, they all end up going into the dream world and um i guess chauncey was ordering giving orders to fucking uh the old lady gloria i think her name was gloria yeah gloria uh you know just the plot on bringing jessica into the dream world into you know into the um getting jessica to open the portal to the little dream world the spirit realm whatever they want to call it and um yeah, you know, fucking Jessica obviously ends up, they all end up getting out, the house, they end up setting the house on fire, um, trying to, you know, put an end to Chauncey and his madness and the, the whole door entrance into the dream world and shit like that, um, but like I said, it kind of, the way it kind of ended, it was like, uh, Chauncey might still be alive. The the evil the evil entities might still be alive, cause they showed this little kid, um, playing, talking about his imaginary friend had a little teddy bear, all type of shit. Cause the the imaginary friend, um, they used the teddy bear to portray the imaginary friend, but the teddy bear wasn't even real. And to find out, only, you know, Allison can see it, and Jessica, because she was still, you know, she was still traumatized by all that shit, man. But it was, yeah, it was, uh, it was okay. It was okay. Something you can, you can take your kid to go see, um... They, they, they may, they may enjoy it, they may not, you know, but I know for sure, as you, uh, if you're an adult, you're not gonna enjoy this shit, so, yeah. That's all I really got for you guys on this one, sorry to be a Debbie Downer, but, yeah. Um, like and subscribe, support the motherfucking corp, um, I'll be back a little bit later with um not not a little bit later but you know in a little bit you know in a few with uh the masters of the air um new episode so stay tuned for that and yeah so be it thanks for watching guys toodles